Hello and welcome to this Notion tutorial where I will show you how to build a random quote generator in Notion. What's more, you will learn about a hidden Notion trick that not many people know about, how to display only one database entry. Lastly, before we jump in, you can find the written instructions, uh, the template and the cheat sheet for everything that I explain in the description. So hit the subscribe button and let's get started. All right, let's build a quote generator in Notion. And while we're at it, learn how we can get Notion to only display a single database item. The first thing that we're going to need for this is a database with our quotes. So I'm going to type slash database and I'm going to call it quotes. And we have our quote in the beginning and then we have our author in the next line. Author and we want a text property here, great. I'm just going to quickly grab a few quotes da, 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 from Douglas Adams, because why not? Let's get this one, let's get this one, and then let's get this one, and then put in uh, Douglas Adams. Great. Uh, one quick trick if you want to copy something in Notion, uh, if you're inside a field, um, you can press escape and then you have the whole cell selected. You can press command C and then you can select the uh, other cells and just paste it in and then where you don't have to do that several times. Great, so now we have our quotes and ideally, uh, then this would be a very short tutorial, we could now just tell Notion to just show us one, but that's not possible. So if we say, okay, uh, create a link view to database, I want to see our quotes here and I want to get a new empty view and I want to see the database title, I want to have it as a gallery, don't show me the content, let's just style this really quick done and in the properties I want to see the author as well. So now I have my view here uh, but I have no way to say not to tell Notion to only show me one. So if I go to load limit uh, max is 10 that doesn't help very much. Now I want it to display only a single uh, entry and it's possible but it will uh, take a little bit uh, of work. Basically what we need to do is we need to filter uh, the database here for something that's A, unique, and B, random. It has to be unique because you only want to show one entry, and it has to be random because you want to show different entries every time. Otherwise, what you could do, of course, is you could just say, okay, filter by quote, <laughs> just look for the, uh, dolphin, uh, the dolphin quote, right? Uh, now I have one, so it's unique, but it's not random because it will just stay that one. So I need to get some sort of random number in here. Now, Random numbers in Notion uh, are easy once you uh, know how it uh, works, but at first it can be a little bit confusing. So let's uh, just create like this um, random number property. Let's get a um, formula. Great. And ideally we would just have like a random command, right? We could just like pick a random number like this. Uh, but as far as I know, there are no Notion formulas that do that. If you know one, <laughs> let me know below. Uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure that we need like a slightly longer formula. And the longer formula that we're going to use is going to build upon the ID command. So if you put ID in here, you will get a static uh, uh, ID that's unique to the entry. But it's not just a number, it's a string. You see there are also letters inside. But it's great because it gives us this like uh, random starting number. It's not dynamic, but it is random and that's great. So the whole formula for this <laughs> is going to look like that. Uh, and don't worry, uh, everything is in the uh, description below, so you can just copy it from there. There's also uh, a template and a cheat sheet, so you never forget how to use random numbers in Notion. Uh, but I'm just going to walk you through this real quick. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the ID, and then we're going to replace every single letter in there, so that we are just left with numbers. And then we're going to cut it uh, to uh, eight digits, uh, because depending uh, on the uh, random nature of uh, the uh, ID, you might have more letters than numbers in there. Uh, but usually you should have at least eight numbers in there, so it works most of the time uh, pretty uh, uh, pretty well. And, uh, and otherwise, you, you could like reduce this further to, to be even uh, safer. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a range of calculations and, uh, among others, are going to multiply it with the now timestamp. And the timestamp for now uh, let's just get now quickly. 
no. gives you um, a unique timestamp that's sometimes formatted as a, as a date, but uh, what it is in fact is a range of numbers. So if we can just, I think we can just do two number uh, with this one. Uh, does it work? Yeah. Uh, so it gives you that fairly long number, and what it is is the number of seconds that have passed <laughs> since 1st of January 1970. Either way, it's a long number and it changes every second. So this one is dynamic. And if you put these two things together, you get uh, a random number that changes every second because the last uh, building block is mod. And mod uh, divides two numbers and returns the remainder. And that makes sure uh, that you get not just like an ever-growing number, right? Because like <laughs> the, the seconds from the timestamp, they always obviously just get bigger. Um, but thanks to mod and this uh, like returning the remainder, uh, the result of the division will be a different one every single time. And that's how you get like a pretty random number in Notion. Great. So as you can see, we have uh, different numbers here and we could already use this now to sort, right? Like if you um, had now a big di database and you just want to shuffle entries, uh, this would be enough. We could just say, okay, please sort by our random number. And now every time we reload this page, um, something else should be at the top. So, okay, we have the you know code here. Let's go uh, into um, the database maybe for a moment. Da -da -da -da. Open this, go back to our quotes and see whether there was enough uh, of a time pass already. Oh, no, the you know one is still at the top, but we see uh, the numbers uh, are different. So with three entries, obviously, <laughs> you still, even with the randomizer, you might still uh, end up with the same ones on top, but you uh, see where I'm getting at. Now you will have different ones here every time, but you still have um, at least 10 because that's the max load limit that you can set. So in order to get Notion to only display one, <laughs> ideally again, we could we would just be able to go to filters and say, okay, filter please by, let's uh, remove this, uh, filter by the random number and add this to an advanced filter so that we see all options uh, and then give me the biggest or the smallest. But unfortunately, um, we can only compare it to a different value that we need to put in and that other value is static. So we can't say, okay, just pick, you know, <laughs> show the biggest out of all of them. That's, that's not possible. So, uh, we need uh, a separate database to do this actually. So we're going to uh, go down here, I'm going to type again, slash uh, database, and I'm going to create um, a randomizer helper. And we don't need much in this, we actually only need one entry. Um, and we need a relation uh, to our quotes. So let's get this, let's go to relation, da, 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 and our quotes. Let's hope that this is actually the right one. I've already built like a few of these, randomizer. Uh, and let's see. Yep, that's the right one. Perfect. I'm going to call this helper, and then we're going to connect up. Oh, just saw uh, it changed here, so it updates now also uh, without reloading the page. That's nice. Um, uh, we're going to now uh, go to the ran uh, here and connect them all to our randomizer helper entry. Perfect. And of course, that's not the nicest for the UI if you would have to uh, connect every time uh, this individually. So what I would recommend is that you go to your filter and you always, whatever view you're on, you always set a filter that the randomizer contains helper. And that way, if you now add a new uh, entry, uh, it will automatically help add the helper here assigned. And you see it's all in here because that's the one that is assigned, it, <laughs> the number. Great. Uh, let's change layout here so that uh, this is no longer wrapped. Awesome. Okay, so uh, the reason why we need to randomize a helper is because we need somehow access to uh, a biggest or smallest number. And we can get that through a roller. So now I'm going to um, get like the biggest number question mark and it will be a roller. Ba, 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 ba. And I'm going to select the quotes relation and I'm going to pick the randomizer, the random number, and I don't want it to show the original. I want it to show either minimum or maximum. Both of them work, uh, makes it does just the same, but now we have a single number uh, out of these. And as you can see, it's actually not aligned <laughs> right now. Some, so like if you set it up for the person, now it's aligned. There's sometimes uh, like very small lag. So, but after you reload the page, uh, everything will work properly, properly. But don't get confused if the number that you see here at first doesn't align with the ones that you see here. Okay, great, so we have the biggest number now. Now all we need to do is get that biggest number back in here to determine what's the um, entry that we want to display in this very second. 
So I'm going to uh, create um, uh, a new property because we can't roll it back up immediately, right? Like if, uh, in theory, we would just say, okay, biggest uh, number, uh, create a roll up and then grab it from the randomizer and then grab that one. But as you can see, it doesn't show up here and that's because Notion doesn't allow you to roll up a roll up. So what you need to do instead is you need to create a, a biggest number helper or whatever you want to call this and it will be a formula and the formula will be nothing else than the biggest number. So now you have the identical number in here and now this can be rolled back up. So we can go back here and say, okay, give me the biggest number helper, show the original. Actually, show original doesn't work because uh, this is now formatted as text. You can see that because uh, numbers are aligned on the right side in Notion, this is aligned on the left side, so we need to change it from show original to, we can go again, max, doesn't matter, uh, just so that it's formatted as a number. Awesome. And now, all we need to do is we need to check, okay, what, which, which one is the, the item that we randomly picked? So, uh, uh, chosen item, question mark. We're going to get the formula again. And that formula will be that uh, entry where the biggest number equals the random number. So now what it does is it will take all the entries that we have in here, determine what's the biggest number out of those, feed that back into our main database and then check, okay, <laughs> which one was chosen. And because the numbers are random every time, the biggest number will be a different one every time and you uh, get an actual random selection of one entry. And we can filter for chosen item is checked. And now you only have one database uh, item and it will reload every time you open the page, every time this number updates and you get a different uh, quote at the top of your workspace. Works with uh, all sort of things. You could use this to browse through a large database of videos, right? If you don't know uh, what to watch next, you could um, drop all the movies in a database in Notion and then <laughs> use this method to select one random movie every time. You could use this to uh, draw uh, which colleague has to uh, get coffee uh, next and so on and so on. Whenever you need to uh, uh, pick one individual item from a large number of uh, items at random, uh, this is a great way to work. And as you can see, uh, like there's sometimes a minuscule lag, like now it had for like a second nothing chosen, but now it changes. So now we have um, a different one again uh, here. If, if it does these updates in, in time, it sometimes doesn't up, update that one, but if you go out of the page and back into it, it will always work properly. So let's just go um, in here and reload it. And now we have a different uh, quote at the top of our database. And that's the complete walkthrough. Now you know how to build a random quote generator in Notion or pretty much any sort of pick one from a list of many projects. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I answer every single one. Also, don't forget that you can download the template plus the cheat sheet for all these formulas for free with the link in the description. And if you want to learn every single Notion feature, check out my complete Notion tutorial here on YouTube. The next episode will release one week from now. And last but not least, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss one of these hidden Notion features. See you in the next one.